Hi, this is Alisa from Local King Robert's Day and welcome to my channel. Ready for today's video? Today's video, I am starting to use the 2021 Spring New Release. A brand new stamp set and the matching die set are coming by the end of this month. So for my next few videos, I am starting to use each set to create a project to show you what you can do with those brand new stamp set and matching die set. And hoping this video will help you to make your decision. Make sure to subscribe to Local King's YouTube channel because once when those eight brand new set available on our store, I am going to launch a great promotion. For our YouTube viewers, I always offer special discount code and then make sure you watch the video and then you will get that code when it is available. That's the start today's video is going to be a fun and easy one. Okay, so I'm going to put the link below so you can take a peek of which a brand new stamp set and matching die set they are coming by the end of this month. Today's video, I am using this uh, You Are So Jelly stamp set and matching die set. And remember this year, um, the 2021 Spring New Release, all the die cut is going to have a double die cut except uh, this bubble. So this stamp set is going to have four stamps, but you are going to get a seven die cut. The price is still remain the same. We don't jack out the price because we add the extra die cut. So for the background, I'm going to use this Jelly Jiggly and uh, I already created a video to show you how to use this Jelly Jiggly background and then just make sure you check the Local King online video library, click the card you like and you can see the, uh, the video. Okay, so you can see that I have a few cards that I already created. So, um, it's a song, it's, it's like a same kind of technique, but it's a two, I will like two cards like I would like to um, share with you how did I make it. So the first one I'm going to show, I'm going to share with you, this one is kind of, so this uh, jellyfish is a uh, pop out, so I put the phone tape under, and in my last video, I was uh, showing you how to turn all the die cut into the puffy sticker. So you can add a piece of phone tape to make it like a puffy sticker, but I want to share with you, see the other jellyfish, like those two jellyfish, they are flat. They are not a 3D. So they are kind of become part of this uh, um, jellyfish in the background. So this is one of my puzzle technique I would like to share with you how to do it. And then the other one is, this one I'm going to share with you how to make this unique background. Um, I want to create a, like this kind of a, a aquarium when you go to an aquarium and you can see all the jellyfish just look like that. So the, can you see what's the difference between these two cars? So these two cards, the jellyfish, because this stem, this background stem is kind of like a reverse image, right? So when we stamping with the black ink pad, your jellyfish is clear, it's seen through, it's white. So that's what it looks like. This one, I just use a little bit brown, uh, blue um, ink pad, few different kind of brown, uh, blue ink pads, few different blue color. That's what it looks like right so and i already um create a video to show you how can you um stamp it with the black impact and then just rubbing some color and that's uh, what it uh, look like but can you tell this one is actually reverse how did i create this finish so once when i explain to you you will find out what that's it that's so easy it probably takes just one minute to create something like that so that's it started. We're going to start with this one and then we're going to start, uh, we are going to working with uh, this one. If uh, this is also the other card that I create, if it, there is any card you like to see, um, just leave me a message and uh, I will create a video to show you how. Sometimes just find out um, probably it's too easy. You guys maybe don't want to see, right? So this is the one that's called A, okay? Look at the background, is that pretty? Okay, so this one is a B. Okay, this one is the C. So the C one, I'm going to show you how to create it, no worry. This one is a D. I'm going to show you how to create this card, so no worries. 
This one is E. Well, this one is actually too easy. I'm going to sh just explain to you what I did. I just used the white and black, um, sorry, I just stamped it with a white pigment ink and the coated with a clear embossing on the volume. So that's why I created these uh, jellyfish kind of like a staying true. And I just put some Angelina fabric under to make those kind of tentacle. Okay, so did I say one? Oh my God, I'm really suffering the short memory loss. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The six is uh, also the same technique. I just uh, cut a circle frame. So I don't think so. I think these two is just the same. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This is the seven. The seven, I'm going to show you this number four, but the seven, we just uh, um, using the vellum instead of a die cut. So let me just explain to you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm going to make a number three and number four. If any card you like to see, like to learn, just leave me a comment and I will do my best to create a video to, to show you how did I create those cards. So, but that's just a start with uh, those two. That's a start is number three. It's so easy, you won't believe. Okay, so we're going to use this uh, Jelly Jiggly background stamp. And like I said, this background stamp is a reverse image. If you take a look close to the stamp, you can see they are actually completely flat. And then the jellyfish is go in. So that's a reverse, uh, reverse image. We are going to use a Versa Mark. Okay. So here's the, the Versa Mark. But when we want to use the Versa Mark with this technique, we got to use the kind of glossy cardstock. I have uh, um, this uh, Kronko, the old Kronko is very, very shiny. But unfortunately, this um, Kronko glossy cardstock has been dis um, discontinued. So it's hard to find on the market, but I know a lot of you guys still have some. So instead of Kronko, I'm mean, using this dog glossy. And please watch the video number 138. I have been mentioned too many times. 138, I did a paper review. You can find all the paper that I'm using in my video from the paper cut of Marco's paper. So we want to use the Versa Mark and then uh, we need something a little bit um, glossy because I am going to use a brayer. If you use a regular cardstock, we are going to have a little bit problem when we apply the brayer and uh, the color won't show well. Okay, so we're going to use the... Versa mark and the Versa mark is kind of gluey. You don't need to use the stamp positioner. I just had my stamp on top. I'm too lazy to remove it. So I'm going to show you. We don't need to use the stamp positioner. Just place your stamp on the table. Just place them on the, that piece of storage sheet which come with your stamp. And they really need to give a nice tapping. Okay. You can take a look from the side. Just gently tap, 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 and make sure that all the mark is the kind of blending, okay? And then we are going to, I'm going to just use the dog glossy because I know a lot of you guys don't have these crunkle glossy paper anymore. So we're going to just put our card directly on top, and I'm going to just use my dollar store tool, kind of rubbing on top. If you don't have this uh, tool, you can always use your hand. I just found out that tool is much easier. Just give a little massage and make sure you rub everywhere. Okay, so that's kind of like a watermark. Have no color. Okay, and then we are going to use a brayer. There is a, if you don't have a brayer, you can just use a, a sponge, you know, don't use a brush. You, you you have to use a sponge tip. You can just uh, tap in, apply the color on top. Just uh, like a, like a, just a, like a tapping, rubbing, makeup sponge, they will work too. If you, um, but we're going to use a brayer. If you are looking, thinking about to purchase a brayer, there is a soft rubber and a hard rubber. What's the difference between soft rubber and the hard rubber? Um, the hard rubber usually come like a red color and the black. 
when you kind of squeeze it, they are really hard. The soft rubber, if you scrape, uh, you kind of squeeze it, is a kind of like a rubber, it kind of like a cushion. So the difference between soft brayer and the hot brayer is the soft brayer is good for the paper craft, the um, for the paper, and the hard brayer is good on the hard surface like a wood and uh, uh, like a um, like a metal is good for print making. So we're gonna use the soft brayer and I'm going to find a color. And then you got to make sure that you use the dye base impact. You cannot use the um, pigment impact. It have to be the dye base impact. And this is the Memento 607 Nutrical Blue. Okay. So, and then we are going to just uh, apply the color. Just uh, ink your brayer. Kind of doing one direction. Okay, until all your brayer is a color with the... Uh, um, the ink and then we just apply directly on top and then when you apply the color directly on your uh, car try to um, rolling one direction okay always start from your scrap paper and then that's it okay and then I'm going to just grab a piece of Kleenex kind of rubbing the surface so that's how I get a reverse image right because of my uh, versa mark is the kind of create a water mark that's what it looked like okay and then what did I do is I just cut uh, I just uh, trimming it four pieces equally and then I use only three pieces Put down piece of dark car style is exactly when we go to the aquarium because the aquarium the jellyfish is kind of bright blue blue and then we kind of it's like a kind of against the light so that's exactly what it look like and i just put a little jellyfish here and uh, put a little bit angelina fabric under to make a kind of tentacle so that's the first car is something very easy isn't it I hope you like it and let's move to the next uh, car project the next car project is going to be this one okay so this is a kind of like a puzzle technique okay so the next project will be this one what I did is I just use a stay on and I stamping on the Maco car stock so you can use a regular cardstock too, but at least the Maco cardstock or the dull glossy cardstock, they are coated. So they take the ink much better. And then that's why my black is actually looks really like a solid black. And then they really can um, do a very detail. But recently I found, and I'm using my little jellyfish. I just stamped three of them. And I found out this Versafine Clary, Claire is a very good impact. Just really like it. It had a pigment impact. Okay, so in my last, um, previous video, I already show you, you know, because Local King has, uh, Local King's uh, die cut is really, really detailed. Um, especially this time, the die cut have uh, both the detailed die cut and the outline die cut. If you, this is the most of the die cut on the market. So you just put the die cut on top of your image, you die cut it, and they are going to have a, like a big white outline between, right? So we include this die cut just for free. And then, but I want to have a detailed die cut. So the detailed die cut, you can see the die cut line is right next to the image. So because this die cut also have embossing features, so it's a little bit hard to put your die cut directly on top. Um, it, it can almost line up, but uh, I am kind of, you know, picky. I like my, uh, my die cut right next to the image. So I just uh, create a guiding window, and this one guiding window, once when you create it, you can use it again and again. Okay, so we're gonna put that guiding window on top, and then see they are perfectly lined up. That's how, that's why Local Kings Daika have no outline, uh, white 
gap between the image because I really take a long time to do the tracing. I don't use the auto tracing. Um, so I want my die cut right next to image. So I'm going to run to the machine. I'm going to do the die cut. So I am going to have a three. Okay, so after you die cut it, I have this piece of die cut. I'm going to keep it because I have something in my mind. I want to use this one to build out some background. Okay, so I want to show you what's different, okay? Even though this time, 2021 Spring New Design, they come with the bows. So that means you get the detail die. You also get the background die. So you can do a lot of things. You can cut a piece of brown paper and put it on top as your backing. So tell me which one you like better. Do you like the one without big white gap or you like the die cut right next to the image? I can tell on the market, okay? Any stamp company who have the matching stamp, matching die cut, their die cut is not as detailed as a local king's die cut. Next time when you purchase it, uh, anybody's die cut, just take a look. Most of the people, their die cut is like that. They have that big white gap between the stem image. The company who, whose die cut is right next to the um, image is very seldom. So far, I don't know anybody else. If you know somebody else, uh, leave me a comment, let me know. Um, that will be very impressed because it really take a lot of technique to make uh, your die cut like perfectly matching your stem image. Okay, so that's what's different between the local king's die cut and the other people's die cut. You can see, right? See what's different. Sometimes it's good to have that white borderline, but most of the time it's very annoying. See, I just show you like this one. You put that big uh, jellyfish with a big white outline over there, or it's jellyfish right next to the image. Which one looks the better? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so the next thing is I am going to uh, do my background. Okay, so how did I color my background? We're going to use the magic mushroom and then make sure your stays on is completely dry before you do that. So I am going to just do a little bit green, a little bit blue and a little bit purple. So we had a big promotion last week. Have you received all your magic mushroom with your background yet? If you do, just, uh, you know, after you watch this video, try to play a little bit. Okay, see how easy I just color my background. I start with a little bit um, green, and I think my magic mushroom have that blue already. I don't really need to deepen a new color. I get a little bit blue and a little bit purple. And then because of magic is just awesome. See when you blending right away, that's what it look like. So that's good enough. The way I color my background under the five seconds, it can't be easier than this. Okay, and then what are we gonna do? We are actually going to create a puzzle. So it is easy. You can just put the three data on top of uh, your artwork, right? So, but I always want to share some awesome technique with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my die cut from the guiding window. And once when I create at least a guiding window, I see, show you, I always keep my guiding window here. I keep my guiding window here. I just keep everybody here. And then I just put it back to in my package. So next time when I want to use it, I don't have to create a guiding window anymore. Okay. So now I am going to cut. The, I am going to um cut the two jellyfish. I really want my jellyfish kind of blending inside um this uh, um jelly jiggly background. So I'm going to just uh, put my die cut there, and then I'm going to just uh, secure with the uh, reposition tape. So I'm going to cut the one here and the one there. So when you cut it, you can kind of rotate it a little bit. Don't or do whatever you like. So it's kind of just, I want to cut it two jellyfish. Okay. So this is the, uh, after I die cut it. Okay. See, I just cut the two pieces, right? I think that looks uh, very good already. 
And then now I, I also um, use the local king's uh, corner die cut to kind of create a, some kind of corner, make it easier die cut more, uh, make it easier front page more interesting. And then see, and then I can put my jellyfish back. But I'm going to color that jellyfish before we put it back. Okay. So, and then you have these two pieces uh, die cut, right? What are you going to do with this? Don't put it in the garbage. Just grab a piece of cheap car star and then put these jellyfish on top and mount them top and give it to your sister-in-law say, this is uh, the car I just created for you. Sounds good, right? Okay, so I am going to just mount uh, these uh, backing first and I'm going to show you, oops, I'm going to show you how I color my jellyfish uh, um, jellyfish just so easy okay so I'm gonna stamp on top first just like that okay that's really pretty already right and then I have a three jellyfish one two hey I have a one more where did my jellyfish oh three is here see this one the one have a white gap that's not really attractive so my background is kind of green, blue, and purple. So my jellyfish have to do a little bit different color. They will pop out more. So I'm going to use the orange. I am going to have a little bit pink. And let me see what other color I have. Pink. Let's do the yellow. Okay. So I have these three color. Just try to avoid the color I use for my background. So that way after we, we color or jellyfish is going to pop a little bit more. But you do whatever you like. So if you like a copy markers, you like a watercolor, you like anything, just go for it. I am the one I, I, I like last work. So what I do is I just use these dollar store um, eyeshadow applicator so kind of just give it a little bit orange uh, so yellow just to change the spot okay so this orange i put on the uh this yellow i put on top so this yellow i put on the bottom this yellow i put a little bit on the side but this eyeshadow applicator one color one applicator don't try to mix the color so that way you can keep it um this uh, pick up the clean color that doesn't make your artwork messy. And then I just found out this new, this is not a new ink pad, it's a Versamark Clara. And then I just love it. The quality is just awesome. So make sure you change your applicator, one applicator, one color, okay? Kind of just gently brushing on top. Okay, see how easy is it? Or, Let's do that. And I have a one more secret secret weapon to share with you. So you always start with a lighter color. If not enough, we can add a more. Okay, always start with a light color first. Oop. Okay, and then I am before I finish that, I'm going to close this one first. Oop, this one. Okay. And then I am going to grab a darker purple with my magic mushroom. I'm going to just uh, make the, the outline a little bit darker. So when I put this puzzle in, they are going to blending. They are going to be really part of uh, my background. Okay, so just use the um, purple will do dark brown will do too not too much okay and let me show you what is my secret weapon okay i think that's really good okay so i'm going to just grab a double side tape okay i'm going to just let's see that's the first one and then Second one, they will perfectly line up. See, that's my jellyfish. Or you know what happened is uh, 
I am actually going to make a ronda a little bit growing, like a darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, kind of make a, a little bit darker here. So like these. And then now I'm going to put my jellyfish back. So that way, because I kind of darkened the side, so my jellyfish, uh, so you can use the, those micro dots. Okay, kind of detailed dye. And then way down here, the bag is completely dry. So it's a little bit still wet. So the glue doesn't really stick like this. So if you get a chance, take a look at the link below. Um, tell me which one, which set is your favorite set. So the last uh, eight brand new background, we had a winner. The number one sale background was the perfect stone. The second one was the flower garden. And then the jelly jiggly is a uh, third and uh, the rice lake come as a four. Okay, and then we can, let me go grab a little bit Angelina fabric. Okay, so I have some Angelina fabric here and I have uh, some foam tape left from my last video, the puffy sticker. So these uh, jellyfish, I didn't make a puffy sticker because uh, no need, right, the, for the special friend. And then I have uh, this Angelina fabric, kind of just uh, folding it. And then we're going to just try to put it in the middle. Because it's hard to put the glue the Angelina fabric. So what I did is I kind of put it in the middle and on the right side, I still have uh, that foam tape glue, right? And then, so I put down the, my car, that foam tape will grab the... Uh, will grab, will stick on the basic car. So that's the kind of my jellyfish. If it's too much, you can kind of just uh, pulling off, fix it. It makes a last uh, tentacle here. I think that make a beautiful touch up. Okay, and then what is my secret weapon? Do you have one of those kind of white jelly pen? Pigment impact impact a uh, pigment pen ink pen okay so i think i don't know how much is i think it's like a 399 4.99 okay if you have one that's good because you can use this one to give it a little bit highlighting right but i find a very good replacement okay so this is a white jelly pen that really white so you can just uh, give a little bit highlighting Okay, on those jellyfish. Okay, just like that. I'm going to bring it close to share with you. So kind of like highlighting. See the one in the middle, right? I kind of add a few white dotting there, right? So if you don't have this white pen, here is the replacement. The white out. I found out this work just perfect. So sometimes you got to clean the tip a little bit, just um, wipe it with the white cloth and then make sure you shake, shake, shake. And then, ta-da, they are exactly like a white out and it's much cheaper. So I just uh, do here, okay, just give it a little bit show you see that's done by this uh, white out white out pen i think i bought two for 4.99 but i had this for a long time i was checking on amazon they, but uh, you got to make sure have to have at least a pen shape not the tape runner okay so that's today's uh, video let me bring everything out and see how easy how easy it is and uh let me just clean my let me just clean my table okay so that's all the project i already show you the number three and the number four the puzzle technique right so this one is also the same technique that i did the background and then i cut uh, that 
jellyfish, the large jellyfish. Instead of a uh, um, black outline, I stamping a um, piece of vellum with a white pigment impact and I seal with a clear embossing powder. And I just uh, use uh, those uh, little applicator, rub a little bit blue on top. So that's what it looks like. If you need me to create a, a video, leave me a comment, let me know, and I will do my best. And the same thing is this one. So this one you can see much better, right? And the, because this is jellyfish, it's seeing through. So the background is exactly the same. Oop, there's uh, some tape stick on my arm. So the background is the same technique, a little bit yellow, a little bit green, purple. It's so easy that you can do it. And then just the uh, um, white pigment impact on the vellum and the seal with the clear embossing powder make it look like a seeing true jellyfish. And then I found uh, this uh, double side tape is a clear gel tape. So I use this gel tape under my jellyfish so it's still seeing true. So kind of unique. So this one is the uh, um, I saw this one at the the Home Depot. They call the clear wall mount tape. That was like a six ninety nine or something small roll, but this is only three fifty Canadian. So it's called the double side clear gel tape. Um, I think it's good for um, crafting. If you are making shaker car, you can definitely use this uh, clear. They are actually clear. Okay, you remove that red tape. Let me show you. It's really clear. Okay, let's do that. So if you want to make some shaker car with the, or you can use this one, it's kind of sticky too. See? Is this clear? You can use it as a, like a glue dot too. They are kind of, you can kind of make it like a glue dot. Okay, so that's something I found at the dollar store. I think it, it worked just fine. Okie dokie. So that's today's video. I hope you like it and that I am going to working on the the next set. And remember this stamp set, the background I use is a uh, jelly jiggly. And then the stamp set I use is called You Are So Jelly. And then here is the die cut. And the, those are the 2021 spring new release. So they are not available online yet. Um, I don't want to do the pre-order this time. That's just wait for the shipment arrive. We are going to just have a, have a, a good promotion. So that's today's video. I hope you like it. Which car is your favorite? And uh, if you can leave me a comment, let me know what do you think. That will be awesome. And uh, thank you so much for watching. This is Lisa from Local King Robertson. See you next time. Bye.